Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Clearly given up on the whole finding my shirt thing. <laughs> I, got, I still haven't found it. It is perplexing me, so I'm sorry. You'll get uh, it eventually. Yeah, I look Maybe. a little more bro today for mm-hmm. us YouTube viewers. I'm um, sorry, guys. For our podcast listeners, could you describe my attire? Not that it's shocking, just that they don't get to it's see. It's a little bit... Um, mm. I, I don't want to use the word skimpy. Uh... But there's no sleeves on this man's shirt. That's true. The neck comes down. There's a solid oh, yeah. view of the neckline. And I, I do um, not hide my paleness. No, and from anybody. So if anybody is seeing the reflection from the lights off of Will, it's gleaming. Uh, we do apologize. Yeah. Sunglasses might be appropriate for this video. Maybe spoiler warning in the title, Kev. Yeah, maybe sunglasses maybe. needed. Yeah, it's my Irish blood. <laughs> Um, also, the backwards hat really adds to the bro uh, look. Yeah, I was going to say, I look a little more... I'm wearing a college, also with that, a college tank. So, I look... Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, this is... I wear this hat to every FNM I go to, though. So That's fair. It doesn't, like... Uh, this isn't too different for me, <laughs> I guess. Anyway. Right! <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you again. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for listening and watching us, this however you're doing 50. it. Oh, we appreciate man, yeah. you guys sticking around and Dude, watching we're us. A, uh, uh, there's some fancy word for 50, right? Half of 100. All right, cool. We're half of 100. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Half <laughs> sentence. Yeah, shut up, Will. Um, Doing great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking we, we name it something nice, but I, I got nothing. That's fair. At this late hour. Yeah, it is really late, guys. So Forgive we apologize me. if today's episode is a little groggy. No, it's fine. We've been playing Magic, so <laughs> our minds are... What Sharp. deck? Really quick, what deck did you make? Uh, Boros Burn bonus, bonus. It was Boros like Burn. Mento Mentor. Wow, Mento Mentos. Advertise. Um, <laughs> not a sponsor. Um, uh, no, yeah, it, yeah, was yeah. it was Monastery uh, Mentor. Uh, Soulfire Grandmaster. I, I, making it, I realized like this. It feels weird. Yeah. So I I try to get a lot of cards that benefited from Burn, like yeah. casting a spell, mm-hmm. and I felt like all right, the one of the best spells to cast in red is a burn spell so yeah if i have to be in boros which we rolled a random color die i picked yeah Bor- we, well, I picked, we each I picked boros. two random colors basically is yeah. what it amounted to you got red white obviously yeah. i got green white yeah uh so i was slesnia beat mm-hmm. down which is so against my play style but it actually worked out i had some cool yeah. little cards collected company oh. is broken by the way oh, it's so uh, good. in case you I haven't realized Coco. that somehow by now Coco, um, cocoa beans, hot cocoa. Also, a combo I didn't mm. get to pull off um, was the excavator, the new Crucible of Worlds with yes. uh, strip mine. Yeah, I was afraid of that um, snake man. I, I wanted to just strip mine all your lands. I also did have fast spawn and Corsair of crew fix I know to do you it did. for free. I know you did, and um, I, I shot him as soon as I saw him too. Literally every time. <laughs> yeah, because you don't you don't get to blow up my lands, Mister yeah, Man. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, but it was pretty cool. Fun, fun few games yeah, we're good. not gonna talk at length about it we just thought we mentioned yeah. it because it's late and that's what we've been doing for the past hour and a half two hours somewhere in there yeah seems... i think we started a little after 11 and it's like 12 40 now well night. we also played with those other decks the um, uh we made the some training intro decks, decks we'll say uh, yeah to bring a friend of ours into magic we'll yeah. hope that he i know we followed the the if sound you're out there so if you're out there you tease you know who you are yeah, you teased. <laughs> he said he was coming, and then all and of a sudden he, he wasn't. So he had dinner with his family. How lame! No, this is magic we're um, talking about. We're so off topic right now. Let's get to the random card of the day. All right, let's reel it back in, guys. Of course, yeah. you know where to find us by now. Links are down in the bottom. <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, YouTube, Twitch, all Everything. that stuff. All that stuff. Go follow us. Be a part of the fun. Um, yes. Plug get all notifications that. about when these things come out. When we talk uh, about our weird nights i don't know yeah that's what this podcast is going to become just us ranting about it's playing t- magic but really just what we do it's while we turned play into it but that's yeah. okay we did watch spirited away while we played oh we did fun. maybe that's why we're being so weird probably Japanese all right house random card of the day three two one oh, oh buddy. well okay scavenging is this, the, is this the best one we've gotten so far or not nah? probably we did get uh vraska last time which is pretty cool Scoozy's but way better. is better <laughs> Um, say. Scavenging Ooze, if you don't know, is one in a green for a 2-2 creature ooze with the ability to pay one green, exile a card yes. from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, you put a 1-1 one, one, plus 1 plus 1 counter 
Mm. On the ooze, and you gain a life. If I can go with the bro look for a second and kind of okay. play to the stereotype I'm uh, projecting, yeah, it's good this card is green because it is straight money. Guys, I'm really sorry for this episode. You might need earplugs also. You telling me I can play myself a two two <laughs> ooze for two? Start exiling stuff. Mm. Keeping you off flashback. Mm. Keeping you off recurrence. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, growing my two two ooze to a bigger ooze. All of these are true statements. Yeah, I want that. Yeah, no, this card is awesome. It's played everywhere that it's legal for the most part. Definitely. Um, definitely in modern, you see it a lot. You, uh, you even sometimes see it. You see this see in it. Legacy yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. It's just, I mean, it hoses a lot of things, obviously, as you mentioned. Yeah, you're able to get cards out of the graveyard. That's like the biggest draw, honestly. Yeah. There probably are better 2-2s two for 2, I'd say. Like a better effect, but if this didn't shut so many good things down. Right. Like Dredge, Sayonara. And yep. especially animator. if if this was a tap effect, it'd be ten times worse. You can do this as many times as you have green mana turn. Well so and what's wow, really cool awesome. about it is it makes so many cards in the opponent's deck terrible. So mm. if you're against a control player, you know if they're running blue and you're playing modern, really yeah. any format eternal, um, you know that they're gonna play Snapcaster. So totally. as soon as they play Snapcaster and target a thing, you exile it. And then they just have Snapcaster. Yeah. Like, it hoses Snapcaster, it hoses Reanimator. Anytime they target a thing, you just exile it. Um, yeah. Anytime Dredge, you know, that, that hoses a lot of Dredge. So it's just really good, right? Like, you yes. just do oh, so man. many things with it, and it gets big, and it gains you life uh, on the occasion, so it's good. It also shuts down, not shuts down, but it makes Tarmogoyf worse, which yep. is important. That's true. Um, if there's a one-of, of like a sorcery in the graveyard, mm -hmm. and you exile it, yeah. Tarmogoyf you can, shrinks. You so. eventually will shrink Tarmogoyf. Maybe. Not that you shoot for that, but like no, if, if it's just a bonus. it helps you, yeah, yeah, go for it. So Sprinkles on top. Yeah, it's this. a super good card. Yeah, I I, I love Scavenging Ooze. Um, I don't think many people have many complaints. No, I think it's just you a said? great card. Yeah, I mean, likewise. Solid 2-2 two, two creature for two. That has so much upside. Crisp. Um, and I don't even think card. we're doing it justice. I think it's probably better than we're saying. But yeah, yeah great card. Probably yeah, I mean, our I best. Think, I think I'm it's stoked about that. prolific enough that most listeners would know what Scoozy Yeah, does. I mean, if you play in Eternal format or if you played during the R to R, R T R, R to R. I'm confusing work with, that's a work thing. Anyway. Um, oh. Yeah. It is a work thing. Um, if you were playing during Return to Ravnica, there you, go. Uh, you know about it. If you play any of the yeah. Eternal formats, you know about it. Uh, it's a card yeah. you have to have to think about if you're going up against yeah. anybody that runs green. Was its first printing in a core set? Um, let us look. Uh, let's see. MTG 2014. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Man. And you My people bad. don't like core sets. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, corsets. Come on, guys. I love get corsets. with it. I'll I actually do like them. Um, I'm interested to see how they will turn out. Yeah. In the it, it kind of sounds like they're gonna shrink their value a little bit. I think so. From the old ones, comparatively, yeah, yeah. but even so, still, it'll be interesting. Yeah. And they do say that there will be some chase stuff in it, so we'll see what's good. Hey, if it's um, as good as Scooby, I'm good with that. If they reprint ooze, I've got a ton of them now because Modern Masters. But ooze, hey. It's a good card. Yeah. I'll always Who doesn't like uses. Hungry Flubber? They're rel relatively cheap, too, if you need to pick them up. Are they? They're not that expensive. I don't know that. Uh, let us look again. $4. So, yeah, if you need a news, buy one for $4. That's as much as a pack of new cards. Let That's me true. just say, you will get more value out of the scavenging news. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> more yeah. than likely. Even at a kitchen top table. <laughs> yeah. It's just good. I mean, so, unless you're a popper whatever anyway we're getting into right. semantics here's the deal kevin moving on to the deck list it's our monday episode we got some deck lists let's go upstream we're in the legacy format today uh and as always we yeah. asked for community suggestions and you guys did not yeah. disappoint no there were some cool uh, ones i was excited about this yeah we always we got really good suggestions from you guys we always do so we do appreciate uh the participation um, would you like to go first or do you want me to? Man, no, I want you to go first. Okay. You're so excited to talk about Belcher. I am really excited. Uh, Belcher was suggested three times by MTG yeah. Outcast, the Matt and the Hat, which is my, the best username ever, and MTG Emrakul. You don't like Pancreasaurus? 
I do like Pancreasaurus. I also I was playing Rocket League earlier with nice. Uh, nice. You shall not be named. Who didn't show up later? Um, and I, we no, I like you way more than that. <laughs> we play against or no, he was on our team. Medicinal Ranch <laughs> was the name <laughs> of of the the teammate we found. Um. So I'll just let that one sink in for a minute. Uh, that warms me. Yeah, right? From the top to the bottom. It's so nice. Medicinal um, Ranch. Yeah, but Whew, I love thank it. you guys for suggesting Belcher because I'm stoked about this deck. Um, yeah. Obviously, the namesake card is Goblin Charbelcher, uh, which, if you do not know, is an artifact, I believe, for four. Uh, yes, for four, and you can tap three and tap the, the Belcher to basically reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a land card. At that point, you deal damage to target creature or a player uh, equal to the number of revealed cards. Um, there's only one land in the deck. It's so. so good. And to top it all off, if the card is a mountain, if the land card that you reveal is a mountain, uh, it deals double that damage. Uh, yep. So the one land is Taiga, which is a mountain. So you Naturally. get the double damage. Um, everything else is let's get mana and let's draw. So it's things like Desperate Ritual... Uh, Seething Song, Rite of Flame, Pyretic Ritual, Manamorphose, Simeon, and Elvish Spirit Guide. Yeah. Uh, Tender Wall also uh, gets you mana. Tons of stuff to get that. There's also Card Draw with Gataxian Probe. Um, that's really about it for that. Manamorphose also gets you there with that. There's four Land Grants in the deck to help you get there. Uh, and then four Burning Wish, which is interesting. Um, because yeah, also you is. will notice some similarities with Storm decks uh, between this. This runs three main board empty the Warrens hmm. as an alternate win condition after you've belchered or whatever. A just in case. Gives you a way to do that, yes. Yeah. Uh, it also, in the sideboard, uh, has tendrils as another way to win, hmm. which I think is really interesting. Um, Goblin War Strike, War Strike is also a really interesting card uh, if you do happen to empty uh, for a bunch of goblins. Okay. Okay. Uh, you get to deal damage equal to the number of goblins you have to target player. Not bad. Uh, so you don't actually have to swing in. It prevents you from having to actually attack to win. It's nice. That's reach. Um, reach yeah. is always good. It's it's a great card. It costs one red for that. It is sorcery speed, so you do have to do it on your turn. But who cares, right? Uh, you empty and then you play it and you win. Yeah. Um. So it's very very good. Uh. It has some interesting sideboard tech, shattering spree, things like that to deal with artifacts. Um, Trash for Treasure is a very interesting card. Um, eh, do things. Do things. Okay. You got it, buddy. Uh, sacrifice an artifact, return an artifact card from your graveyard to play to get the Belcher back, things like that. Um, this also runs Lion's Eye Diamond, Lotus Petal, and Chrome Box. I should have also mentioned as zero cost artifacts. Uh, again, just mana. Right. Um, it runs four Xantic, Xantid Swarm. Uh, so if you are winning off of the Empty the Warrens uh, and you attack with the Xanted Swarm, if I'm saying, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I think, I think um, you are. That's basically, how it just it. means that your opponents then can't play anything during that combat phase, so you get free attacks in. Uh, it's a really, really cool creature. Um, Pyroclasm, Reforge the Soul as wheel effects, and then obvi obviously board wipes, uh, things like that. So it's just... The win is Goblin Char Belcher, right? Like, yeah. all you have to do is get the Belcher out... <laughs> And, and you're pretty combo shape. off as yep. long as you've got the mana to do it. Right. Um, obviously, if somebody counters the the char belcher, you get into some trouble. But that's why the empty the warrens is there as your backup, uh, and also right. burning wish for tendrils, things like that. So, pretty straightforward deck. There's not a whole yeah. lot to say about it. It's really just a one card thing. <laughs> like, it's pretty interesting though. Yeah, it uh, is a cool deck. I really really like it. Yeah, um, finding ways to to just play a silly game. Yeah. and win. I mean, I don't know about often, but this got second place in a competitive league. It did. Uh, yeah. It is worth noting that this deck is very, very low in the metagame right now. Um, it's been going downhill for a little while now. There's just better decks out there. Um, but that being said, if you are just looking for a silly kind of fun deck, this is a great way to start. It's also relatively cheap uh, at a price of about 600 uh, which is a lot cheaper than most legacy decks because you say, only yeah, need one much. land, as it turns out. And um, honestly... Do you even need Taiga? Can't it just be a mountain? It can just be a mountain. The yeah. Taiga enables you to play things like Tenderwall. Sure, um, sure. So it gets it a little bit easier. But yeah, I mean, theoretically, you could just run a mountain, uh, which saves you a, a lot on this deck right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, Goblin Charbelcher itself is pretty cheap. Again, it's not it's not a hugely played deck anymore. 
Um, but it is fun. So if you're looking for a cheap way to maybe intro into Legacy, might not be a bad place to start. Um, it's very, very fun. I would highly suggest it. I yeah. Would say. We're going to, I guess, prove tonight that Legacy can be a little silly. Yeah. Uh, not, <laughs> as, for sure. not as serious. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, Belchers, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snag that. Okay. Interesting deck. Um, and we come to mine. By the way, guys, we're trying a little bit of a new setup yeah, right now. So if you see us looking off to this side, it's because we have a second monitor up with deck lists, things like that, our notes on everything, and um, yeah. gives us prices and things like that. Yeah. So that's I why that's I okay. feel high tech. Yeah, right? Ooh. Also, the phone is the mouse, hence using the phone. <laughs> no, we're magic. All right, so <laughs> we're a magical pop. We're so magic. Um. Yeah, this is another interesting deck that's, again, <laughs> silly. Um, something no. I didn't really expect, I guess, in uh, in Legacy. Yeah. I, w- I always think, like, the further you go back in the Eternal formats, the more more serious. Yeah. The more, I'm just here to Competitive, straightforward win. Competitive, you want to win. Storm. Yeah, do that whole thing. Dread, whatever it is. But, uh, no. This we, is a silly one. <laughs> yeah. This one is... And it's weird because I don't think this works very well in its current state, and maybe we need you guys to break it for us. Uh, so I'm talking about uh, Zombie Bombardment. <laughs> Zombardment, as it's known. Uh, it's an interesting deck that works with uh, Goblin, Bomb- Goblin Bombardment as its main, I guess, <laughs> win con. Uh, so Goblin Bombardment, that's hard to say. It is hard to keep saying. Sacrifice a creature. GB deals one damage to target creature or player. Uh, you use things like uh, Bloodgast, uh, the Grave Crawler to keep sacking and bringing them back to you know, keep dealing that damage. Uh, grave Crawler really works the best for this because you can play it from your graveyard. You don't just get that one trigger with Landfall like you would with Bloodgast. So you can effectively sack him as many times as you've got uh, Black Mana. Um, and the mana base is pretty varied. I mean, but that's pretty standard for a a legacy decks we won't talk too much about that that's an interesting card so it does run a one of undiscovered Mm -hmm. paradise which i do think is cool it's add one mana of any color Mm -hmm. to your mana pool during your next untap step uh as you untap permanence return it to its owner's hand yeah just to work that's interesting work with blood gas if you don't draw land yeah that's true yeah it's good interaction i like that a lot um yeah it's smart um so yeah 18 creatures total though four blood gas four carrion feeder which i think is interesting and I'm going to harp oh. on Carrion Feeder for a second later. Um, then we go for Deathrite Shaman, because Deathrite is is pretty good You're value. In the colors, you play it. Yeah, <laughs> like... it's pretty good value. Of course, Grave Crawler. And then two Tide Hollow Scholars. Cool. Uh, yeah, just to work. Um, it runs a lot of hand disruption, because this is a vulnerable combo. Mm-hmm. Um, so other, other cards that give you some uh, hand destruction effects. Well, I know, also think nice. this is really cool, because you can Tide Hollow tide hollow scholar mm. pull a card that you think is a problematic card from their hand and then if you sack this the scholar you put that card back in their hand but then you also have things like thought seize to pull it out if need be later on so if there is no that way you guarantee a hit with thought seize yeah. or something so that's kind of cool it runs a pretty this deck this list in particular i've seen some varied ones tonight um uh, but this one runs just a varied uh package of instants and sorceries to really just mess with the opponent uh you've got removal and abrupt decay uh four cabal therapy great card in yeah legacy. four faithless looting just you know card drop yeah uh two lightning bolts bolts good <laughs> four lingering souls because lingering souls is really good value too also gives you more targets to sack if you're not yep. hitting things chump blockers flashback it's awesome uh four thoughtsies like you said thoughtsies is an excellent card my favorite turn one play is uh, it oh yeah that's cool. Turn on Thoughtseize is so strong. It feels good. Yeah. Absolutely, it does. Especially, I mean, if if you are on the play and you yeah. turn on Thoughtseize. Feels great. I wonder if there's any statistics to get us good data. Like, I'm sure Does win somebody's... percentage go up? I'm you, sure. You know? I mean, I think it really depends on the deck you're against. But if you're against combo and you pull a combo piece, like... Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You just free ride. <laughs> like, yeah. you're good to go. Well... Not free, but, but it yeah, helps yeah, It definitely so fe- it feels a lot better. Um... So it also has things uh, in the sideboard. I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, two more abrupt decay if you find you need more removal. Some dark blast, which is interesting. Three the dark dredge blast is important. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Cool. Yeah, a lot of graveyard interaction. The dredge is nice. Him to Torok, 
just more hand destruction. Efficient. Protect that combo. Yeah. Two pithing needles. Love pithing needles. We've talked about that before. Yeah. It's sort of as if you like have empty slots in your sideboard, just throw in a few of these. <laughs> like they hose anything. Yeah. yeah. So. Pithing needles great. Revoker's not bad, but needles a little more resilient. So. Yeah. This inside a bolt. Uh, three surgical extraction. One of my favorite cards too. Yes. Uh, and two zealous persecutions. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't actually... I like that card, but it's an interesting one. It's an interesting include. I'm not on the onset. Well, I, I think, I mean, line. you're in a go-wide strategy, right? Like, you have Lingering Souls, you have all these sort of low-to-the-ground creatures, and so to pump them up, get a few extra points of damage, mm -hmm. and then sack all of them if you need to, Yeah. Um, while also simultaneously shrinking or killing the opponent's creatures... Um, is really helpful. I also think it's really good against um, token strategies. So, for it instance, is. empty the Warrens, they all die. Um, Monastery Mentor, if they don't have anything to pr to, to trigger That's prowess, true. it does a lot against that. So That's true. It makes sense. Um, it like is it. an interesting include, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not one I you know, normally I would have, see. Maybe I would have thought Golgari Charm over this, but I guess we're not in green, are we? Um, not really. No. I mean, it runs... Well, no, we are, I guess, for Abrupt Decay things like that fair fair, um, fair. but I'll, i think the fact that this pumps and uh true you do choose one it's your opponent's okay. creatures i like that all right i'll give respect to it so now what i'm what i'm curious about and maybe you can help me out kevin listeners viewers maybe you can help me out too uh carrying feeder is interesting uh can't block but if you sack creatures it gets it gets a plus one plus one counter if we're flinging guys at our opponent why don't we have fling yeah, Where's that's Flame? an interesting thing. You brought this up before we started this. Yeah. And I do think that's an interesting question. Um, like, why wouldn't you just fling? You can take out... You can take out Faithless Looting, maybe, too. Mm. Or you can take out Tuka Ball Therapy. Mm. Or the Scholars. I would maybe say the Scholars. But that also leaves you less targets for things. I yeah. don't know. I just... Like, you'd think you'd be getting more damage in with fling. Uh, which seems like the point of this so. deck like you know i would think so but i guess that being said it kind of ends up being the same amount right because you're sacking essentially to add one point of damage you have to sack another creature with the fling ah, and so it ends up true. being the same with the goblin bombardment that is true um so actually it really i guess doesn't matter that much um, i guess you're right i do like my plan b's like say they deal with goblin bombardment somehow yeah. they have their own abrupt decay well, I think the carrion feeder is on its own. It's sort of backup plan, right? Because yeah. you can sack the you creatures to damage. that and then just swing in for damage. I guess that is true. Um, it can't block, so you might as well swing. <laughs> all right, one of fling. One of that's fling. all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. No, that does make sense. Um, because you're gonna get the same amount of damage. Yeah, through. it's not like you can sack them twice. Um, and it's in harder. Turn, it's I mean. easier to um for same sack to yeah. do something to counter fling or to disrupt fling mm. than it is to do something to hose the goblin bombardment you're saying it's easier it's easier to hose the fling solely yeah. because like you're putting all of your eggs in a singular creature where the bombardment you spread it out like you yeah. can sack different so even if they remove a single creature it doesn't actually mm -hmm. matter and not only that i mean fling is an instant so it, yeah if it hits the stack it's kind of vulnerable mm -hmm. um goblin gb is an enchantment so <laughs> if they've not got the counters that turn you're safe from right, it, right you're safer so um i kind of so get i actually it. do think the the gb is better uh, personally maybe it's just a soft <laughs> spot for fling i don't know we do i mean fling is a respected card on this show and it should always be respected it's if gotta, you don't respect the fling it's got a place in my heart so. fling's gonna wreck you i'll fling you point. pick you up and fling you <laughs> No, that does um, make sense. Um, although, I mean, all told, mm -hmm. a silly deck. Oh yeah, I think we're in. I mean, it's there. it's definitely not tier one. <laughs> no, but it's um, so but it's interesting. A, it's a cool deck, right? It's. I think this goes to show. Actually, today's whole episode, and again, this deck being right under a thousand dollars, which I know sounds like a lot, but for a legacy deck, that's really not that expensive. Well, a thousand dollars paper, two hundred forty ticks online. Super cheap online. Yeah. Um, honestly, but. Yeah, I mean, it's like 
it's cool to see different kinds of decks because normally you always talk about mentor you mm -hmm. talk about all these delver and things like that and those are interesting decks and i think oh, of course. we obviously will get to them at some point um but i think decks like this show that you know you can sort of bring in the the budget or the sort of fun decks and just see what happens and i yeah. like it it's i fun. mean it just speaks to the magic gets to be creative yeah and exactly. you should be creative playing magic yeah you should right. be that's the whole point of it yeah if you're into that sort of thing um i hope you are <laughs> uh yeah cool you get to express yourself express is that, is that a song yeah um anyway do you want to sing a little ditty no not even a little thank you guys Weird. uh for suggesting some deck lists thank you for bringing your deck list into this i think this is yeah. an interesting one it is um, i don't think as fun as this would be i think i'm not i don't want to build this one this one yeah i think it's one i'm gonna leave i would build belcher for sure belcher seems seems neat belcher is just cool i want to leave this by the wayside i don't know i've That's had fair. i've had burn on the mind recently you have you hence you I mean? building yeah but, burn. but before that <laughs> there's a rakdos burn oh, deck yeah. running around modern that you I, want that deck so badly dude yeah. we'll put it together i'm very close to having everything for it's it, sweet so it's sweet <laughs> we'll talk about that sometime we'll talk about it maybe on our modern uh deck text oh, that's which a good idea. is that next yes that is next it is next. next week maybe that'll be our deck stay tuned stay tuned uh no it is a really cool deck so maybe that will be our deck yeah. for that one um but if you do have any suggestions for modern decks uh we post uh usually on tuesday asking for mm -hmm. deck lists so feel free to comment mm -hmm. uh leave whatever your suggestions may be yeah, and we mean, will we'll just we usually just kind of pick them or see which one had the most votes mm -hmm. uh that's sort of our starting point and then we go from there so if we've already done one we probably won't mm -hmm. talk about it but yeah um or if you yeah. see one you like upvote it like yeah it, whatever it is yeah absolutely so Sweet. thank you guys again uh we do come to the time in the show uh where we have to thank our sponsor uh grand slam comics and collectibles you've heard us talk about them a million times but it's worth it uh they are absolutely fantastic they've been helping us out so much with crack -a packs with giveaways with special episodes things like that um yes. we encourage you guys to check them out their links are also in the descriptions both on Very the nice. podcast app and on youtube uh so you can check out their website and their facebook page you should check out their facebook page right now because we've got a giveaway going on um in tandem it resolves and grand slam are both giving away their own arch enemy yeah. box um all you have to do is like the page or follow uh on facebook if you would like to get an extra entry into either one of these all you have to do is share the original post and we'll throw you in as an extra entry and that's it that's all you have to do we're yep. picking winners in two days on wednesday soon august 2nd soon. we'll crown um, a random champion yeah we've already got uh a decent amount of interaction with that so thank I'm you happy. guys for, for the support very so cool. far welcome welcome um, uh i didn't want to derail you there do they have their uh online store set up not yet um oh, they ran into so not a snag of any kind it was just they got sidetracked because they've been doing a lot of pokemon stuff lately uh true, you've also heard us true. talk about that um they do a lot of tournaments and things and they're starting to get more and more involved in that and Excellent. so it's taking up more and more Excellent. of their time. So if you are invested in the Pokemon side of things, they are a great place to start. Mm -hmm. They do box breaks, they do tournaments, uh, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and so they just haven't had the time, unfortunately, to True. set up their online store. But we do encourage you to go check mm -hmm. them out. Uh, they're mm -hmm. really, really nice. For any of that uh, Pokemon Go, yeah. they're very close to a bazillion Pokestops. <laughs> That's so true. You know, you know a thing or two about that game. I yeah, I do. Yeah, I I might play Pokemon Go still. So. That's fine. It's um, it's it is it's a, addicting. It's a thing you do. It is a thing I do. Um, but yeah, so go check out Grand Slam. We're gonna gloss over that. <laughs> um, and thank you oh. for the Cracker Packs, which we'll get into. Oh, heck yeah! Oh, I have to pick a new gold card. You do Mindstorm and of Hellfire. You know. Yeah. Which I also really want, and I'm really mad that you said it first. Um, I'm going to go for Fraying Sanity. Ooh, uh, I want yeah, that card. Buddy. I want to make Mill. Um, oh, it is. I uh, didn't get it, but I got a good one. Oh, nice. Um, well, speaking of the Mill, we did a little uh, uh, a shout-out to SBMTG. Uh, I, I basically took his list. Uh, <laughs> we talked about it um, just to spread, some, spread his name out there again. Yeah. It's not our list or anything, but uh, Parks yeah. is playing it now. He is. Uh, he's. I think he streamed with it 
a few times? He streamed with it once. Okay. Uh, the video will be going up on YouTube probably tomorrow, if I'm not mm. mistaken. Um, so you will be able to see it on YouTube. If you do want to see it on Twitch, you're welcome yeah. to go check it out. Um, it is a very cool deck. Yeah, it uh, is sweet. Super, so. super good. So my rare for this uh, is actually a rare that I really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Is Bantu's Last Reckoning? Yeah, I think it's. Sweet. Um, I don't know. Oops. I think I first pick it to be honest, just because it's such a powerful card. I also did get a claim to fame. Ractives. Um, <laughs> uh, other cards I got that I really like. Uh, that. Sinuous Striker just... is good. Angel of the Godfair is good. Torment of Venom. Frontline Devastator. Please give me my card back. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Um, and also a foil Desert of the True, which Aww. is cool. Um, Did I get? Oh, I got Shifet Dunes. I thought I got one too. <laughs> Pack I am buddies. gonna take Bantu's Last Reckoning yeah. just because it's a so, strong as butt card. Yeah. So removal like, and limited, we know. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, a sweeper and limited, even better. <laughs> Primo Dinero. Super good. Yeah. What'd um, you get? My pack's a little weak, so my rare was Refuse to Cooperate. It's an aftermath card. I actually really like this one. Mm-hmm. It's it's okay in standard. I don't think it ever touches anything, but yeah, um, limited even too maybe. Uh, so refuse deals damage to target spells controller equal to that spell's converted mana cost, which is kind of cutesy, mm-hmm. right? I mean, it it could hit something big if you're just holding on to it. If not, it's just kind of a dead card. Yeah. Uh, cooperate then says copy target instant or sorcery spell. You can choose new targets for the copy, which I mean copy effects are they can be nice. Yeah. But it is kind of like you're hoping this is a clutch play. Yeah. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. Sure. So it can be nice. Uh, it's definitely not the pick. I okay. think first. Um, so I've got. Ooh. Bloodwater entity is nice, yeah. but uh, you know what I'm picking, Kev. Do I? What do I see? Oh, <laughs> really? Unsummon. Would you really pick that over, over what? Over the the bloodwater entity? entity. I feel like I take the entity. It is pretty strong. Uh, it's entity really is strong. Yeah. Bloodwater is very nice. Um, I would definitely take that over on seven. You crazy? Uh, and I'd take Manolith over everything. You better. No, definitely not. Um, I was worried about mana fixing going into this set, but it's fine. Yeah, it's honestly, really not bad. it's not that bad. Um, countervailing winds is a good counter too. I honestly might have to pick entity. I think that it is, is a build around card, but it gives me direction. Pick one. Yeah. So I kind of do like that. But on seven still think you overvalue it i think it's good guys tell me if i overvalue unsummoned just say yes in the comment section that's all you need to do we're doing this live hold on what hold on to your pants what are you doing i'm really nervous what what are you doing how good how (laughs) how food is unsummoned i can't text type whatever how good is unsummoned all i'm saying man it's excellent I, i think it's a good card i I just think you over Why Unsummon is one of the best cards in existence. I love this article <laughs> already. And that's all we got to say. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, this is a bit of a shorter episode, I guess. But we do appreciate you guys hanging out with us and uh, listening yeah, to ho- the deck text. Hopefully, these are just little bright nuggets to the start of your week. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. But, um, again, these are very fun decks. If you are looking to get into Legacy, these are probably good places to start belcher especially yeah these are these are kind of budget Um, that's you know as much as i harp on mtgo which i don't think i've done much on the show i don't think so um i really don't like it that much i don't really either but it is it does make formats accessible to it does which i really do like that if you don't know things like black lotus are like 50 ticks which is the equivalent of dollars um instead of you know seven thousand um (laughs) And the the original dual lands and things like that are like a buck or two versus no. you know a couple hundred. So you can save a lot if you do uh, have a PC or something you play online. Yeah. Um, it also is a good way to practice, I think, because it gets you to play against True. different players with different decks, things like that, which you can't always do in real life. Um, if you've only got you know a couple people in a play group that have basically specific decks and don't really have a variety, it's really good to play online. It also is good mm-hmm. for practicing drafting yeah. and sealed decks and mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah, hey, it's a great way to prep for a tournament. Um, yeah. And, I mean, when you have all the information in the in the world about magic on the internet, it just kind of makes sense to be yeah. able to plug in and yeah. uh, try new things for sure. 
pretty cheap if you're one of those competitive players that goes out and grinds and all that yeah um does anyone grind anymore let me know grinding used to be big but i'm not sure if it is anymore oh tell me <laughs> let me know i'm curious <laughs> would you ever go to like an all-day magic tournament uh i don't know like you don't gr- you don't stop yeah that's the thing it's tricky like you're just trying you to be win so at that point. You're so burnt out at the end of the day. I mean, you're just trying to qualify for a Grand Prix. Yeah. So. I mean, it'd be an experience. I'd probably do it once and never want to do it again. But what if you won? What if you qualified in your first grind? I mean, it'd be great, but I still don't think I'd ever do it again. If I got addicted, well, then I guess I'd probably I guess that's a whole other question. Yeah, that is a whole other thing. Whatever. Anyway, Whatever, um, again, guys, enter in the giveaway please uh you have a chance to win both of them if you like both of the pages please don't knock them every time do this every time um but we do encourage you to go check this out again two days from now we're picking winners so uh be aware of that thank you guys again for suggesting decks uh we hope that you will contribute to the modern deck list oh hey wizard says this is only for people 13 and older okay well if you're 13 we're gonna need you to uh to refrain (laughs) No, I don't really care. No, it's um, fine. <laughs> uh, but thanks a lot, guys. We do appreciate you hanging out with us, listening or watching Yeah, uh, on SoundCloud or podcast app or YouTube, all the things. <laughs> all the things. You're I am so- tired. <laughs> As am I, my friend. I think uh, with that, let's go, uh, let's go Let's go. sleep. Yeah, let's get I'm ready go for sleep. the day ahead. We appreciate everything from you guys. guys We're going to get out of here. Great week, great work day, great day at school. Are we in school yet? No. No, I don't think Negative. so. Negative. Unless you're in all year round school. Oh, that's true. I always wanted to go to one of those. Those make so much sense no, to I don't me. I want to go to that. <laughs> no. All right. So you can have shorter weeks. You get through school faster. Mm. Unsummon. <laughs> Do the outro. We're going to get out of here, guys. My name is Kevin. My name's Will. And this has been It Resolves. Good job.